the Supreme Court of Satirical Justice, the PM Show Courtroom. Today, in the matter of Dennis Mauli versus Yvonne Kumsen. Your Honor, my client, Mr. Mauli Dennis, is very, very, very disturbed and destroyed. Your Honor, this man here, right now, he should be in his honeymoon bed, enjoying the fruit of labor. But look at the way he's still in the courtroom. Your Honor, this woman, the defendant, look at the way she's dressed there. She's not the one. This man, when, the, when he saw the woman, he said that, thank God, I have seen the Eve of my Adam. So he went to see the family and he proposed marriage. And the family said that, come and marry her. And the family too. Your Honor, after this case, we want to sue them. You sue who? The family. Okay. Because they should they should have told them that my client. You should have told. The, yes. Thank you for the distance. They should have told my client that this woman you want to marry, she's not the same person. How? What? Even your Honor, he, she said that her name is Yvonne Kumsen. I'm not sure. Maybe her name is Adrianki or something else. Because you can't believe her. Your Honor, this man, my client, he courtship. He courtship this woman for seven months. Okay. Seven good months. Your Honor, every day when he said that, come and visit me, she dressed fine, attractive, beautiful, makeup, and she come. When he said that today I'm coming to visit you, by the time she, he get he get to the house, this woman she dress, put makeup everywhere here and there. Your Honor, she, she every, the same thing she do every day. So they they got married, and my client they went to the honeymoon. Your Honor, the day after the marriage, the morning, he wake up, and he see something else, lie in the bed. <laughs> and he said that no I don't know this woman I don't know this woman maybe she's a thief All right. who has broke into the room to All come right. and steal my wedding gift oh, eh? wedding gift and the woman said that honey and when you hear the voice he said that mm, I know this voice Okay. So but they're two different persons okay. because that I, time I think she I removed the I think I understand your case now. Your Thank presentation. you. She removed the... I think I said I understand. So it means that you should end it now. I, I, I'll take over. So I thought you said he was deceived. I thought the family um, deceived him and gave him another woman. But no. that is not the case. Your Honor, how can you know? Look at the, the woman... Are you, um, are you asking me that question? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, because um, this woman, she is two different person. Two different. When she do her makeup, She's the wife of my client. When she take off the makeup, she says, somebody, I don't know who. So now, are you asking that we ask, we, your we, honor, we, 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 we insist that she puts on makeup? No. Your Honor, because of what she's, she's doing, she's causing psychological traumatic syndrome. So what do you Your want? Honor, what you want is that they married last week. Yes. We don't care. That's we sweet. want you to applause the married. What? Applause the married. Applause. Yes. Like clap for it. Like um, applaud it. Uh, applaud. Applause. Clap. Okay. Then different. Let me use a different way. Your Honor, we want you to cancel the marriage. Okay. So the same meaning. Applause or cancel. Cancel the marriage and let my client be a single man, and go and find somebody else and marry. And because of the deceitment. The she, deceit. No, no receipt. We don't. We don't. I said deceit. Deceit. D D deceit. Deceit. Who is that? Okay, go on. Go on. Yes, Your Honor. So because of that, the way she has deceived my client, we want you to charge her with a fraud. No, so you are presenting the case as though she intentionally set out to yes. deceive your client. Your Honor. To get him to marry her. Your Honor. Who else can know? I. Is that question? I don't. Is that a question? Your Honor, it's a rhetorical question. Last time you asked me the same thing. You said that it's a rhetorical question. So you're asking so, me a, a rhetorical. Thank question. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. So Your Honor, who else can know? Maybe or maybe not. 
But look at the way she right, has dressed to court. Thank you. So let's listen to yeah, the opposing counsel. Thank you. Thank you, your owner. Your owner. I can see that today you are looking very nice. Thank hey, you. I like you. Your shit and Thank then you. your head. Everything is looking Thank nice. You. Thank Objection, you. Objection, your honor. You can't object. To this one too. Can't I enjoy? Okay, so you go on with your case. Your Honor, thank you for enjoying your nice sheets. Your Honor, today I want to calm down, Your Honor, because I have been to the council, I have been to church and everything. The Lord has spoken to me, so I want to calm down and then talk to you so that you can understand me, Your Honor. Your Honor, you know that a lot of companies have a lot of policies. Companies? Yes, Your Honor. When you go and buy something, Your Honor, the policy is that, Your Honor, when you take the goods outside the company, you cannot retain it. Yes. Your Honor, do you know that? Some companies, yes. Yes, Your Honor. This is a typical example of the company, Your Honor. My client is a typical example of the company. When you buy the goods, Your Honor, you cannot retain the goods. So, Your Honor, the case of uh, wanting to cancel or applaud the, the, the marriage, Your Honor, is, not, is null and void. Your Honor, it is not possible. Your Honor... What I want to say is that my client here is very ignorant and doesn't know exactly what these people are trying to put on here. Your Honor, do you know something called branding? Branding, yes, I know branding. Yes, Your Honor. That is all my client. Don't be asking me questions. You, you're forcing me to answer. You, I shouldn't be doing that. You don't ask me questions, all right? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, if somebody asks you a question, you answer the question. Is that... Are, are you instructing me to answer questions? No, Your Honor. I'm no. only doing this thing. It's true, Your Honor. It's like question tag. Yeah. Did it you? You did. You did. You are did. it I? Are it I? Yes. So, Your Honor, you, you understand the thing about brand, Your Honor? My client branded herself properly. And then she attracted the best customer. I hope you understand, Yona. Don't be asking me questions. Go on with your okay, presentation. He, she, she attracted the best customer to get her to buy the goods. So, Yona, after buying the goods, you cannot retain the goods. Because this is very good marketing strategy that has helped her, helped her got it all. Yona, I don't know. I don't know what she's saying, uh, 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 the other man is saying. Because, Yona, they say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Yona, you saw the thing and you like the thing. Right now, you are saying that it is something different. Yona, it's not true. Even though her friends call her umpire, it is never true. Okay. Your Honor. All right, umpire. Yes. So this man, for instance, if you were a, a, something like a queer man, my, my client would have never a, 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 a gotten anything to do with him. Because he's not a queer man, he, they call her umpire, so he can know that he can play with him. Maybe if they call her okra, so they cannot it, play with so Mr. Marley. So is your defense? Your Honor, what we are saying is that it is never fraud. It is never anything. Goods but cannot be retained. All right. And this is good branding, Your Honor. Good branding. That is it, Your Honor. All right. Um, so that is the case for you tonight. Um, I pray and hope that you understood every side of it, um, all the presentations. You understand it clearly. And when we open the phone lines, I'll be taking your submissions. And finally, I will put my thoughts together and then submit it as well. Um, you can call us on 03220-83596. 03220-83596. Or you can start sending your message in via WhatsApp. It is 05135. 8187 05013581 and then we would um adjudicate. We want to serve justice. Um now let me take your arguments. Now let me listen, let me hear you. Young lady, talk to me. What's your name again? Yvonne Wad Kumsen Yvonne. Objection, your honor. Yes. Your honor, I don't believe her name is Yvonne Kumsen. Ah. Is that name is not Yvonne Kumsen. What's her name? Your honor, maybe um a dry Yankee. Oh. No. So wha- what is informing, what is giving well, you this Well, because if she is beautiful like this, then you can call her Ivan Kumsen. Yes. Th- but oh. if she go and remove the makeup, you will see something. Your Honor, Your Honor, um, I want to say that, I want to tell the Honorable Court that my client over here has never removed any makeup over here. So as she has never removed the makeup, she's called Ivan Kumsen and should be referred to as Ivan Kumsen, Your Honor. Okay. Young lady, um, did you go into this relationship with the mindset to deceive him to marry you? No. So? I was just walking around and he called me one time. You heard it, Jonah. Your she was walking around and he, 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 him, 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 him called her. Continue. All right. 
Yes, and so he said he wanted us to get married, and we got married. And then he woke up just one day, on the day of the honeymoon, and then he was like, "I am not the same person, but I'm the same person, Your Honor." Why do you put on makeup, Your Honor? A lot of makeup. Why do you put on a lot of makeup? Thank you, Your Objection. Honor. What? What? Your Honor, please, it's not a lot of. Your Honor, objection. objection. Your Honor, you are being manipulated by my 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 colleague here. You said makeup. That was okay. Why did you have to add a lot of makeup? That I, means I thought about it. No, I thought about it and I added the lot. Your Honor, this Your is Honor. not a lot. This is just about one crate. Use use this pencil to scrape off. Your Honor, no, we see. don't want to put the people of this court into a lot of trauma. <laughs> Let's just maintain it like this, Your Honor. So you agree that if some of the makeup is scraped off, um, people in this courtroom will be put in trauma? I'm sure, Your Honor, because that is why he phrase go away umpire. So now you agree with me that your client is actually ugly. No, Your Honor, ugly is a very harsh way. She is just a, a, a she has beauty deficiency. That is never ugly, Your Honor. You cannot call somebody ugly. It is beauty deficiency. All right, let me talk to this young man. Uh, young man, what, what what are you saying? That you don't love her? Is she's beautiful? As she stands here, she's beautiful. Your so honor. how about we force her to put objection, on the, Your uh, Honor? Yes, Your Honor. If she's beautiful, go and marry her. No, she's already married. No, Your Honor, remove the marriage. Your Honor, that is the reason why we are here. Um, to you, she is beautiful. But when you wake up in the morning and she's lying by your side, you realize it's a different person. Also. How is Objection, that? Your How, Honor. You can't object, let him learn. Objection um, overruled. O- overruled. Yeah. Your Honor, it is because when you wake up in the morning, you don't see Kumsen Yvonne. What do you see? It is a tiger lying by you. Why? How Objection, is that? Your so? Honor. Yes. You cannot call out my client a tiger. Your Honor, or see, or am by not a tiger. Objection, Your, your, your Honor. Honor. Your Honor. When my client was telling me the case, he never said that the woman is a tiger. What did he say? If he said that the woman is a tiger, he deceived the court. No, you are supposed to be by the side of your honor and be by the side. No, by the side of your client. Support him. Come and stand by me. No, I don't mean that. I mean, um, so um, help him through the thick and thin. Like uh, when he's struggling with his case. You, you support him, you help him. No, but your honor, if you say that a woman is a tiger, then you bring me to the same court with a tiger. If she chew me right now, then what am I going to eat? All right, so next time, don't deceive your lawyer. Thank you, your honor. Your honor, it was a figure of speech I used. I don't mean literal tiger. Because when you wake up in the morning and she's lying by... Did you, you get that? Your honor... What he's saying right now, he's even confusing the court. No, he's not confusing the court. Maybe he's confusing it. He says it was a figure of speech. He used a figure of speech. So she is not a tiger, but looks like a tiger. How? Objection, no, your better, honor. Better still, a tigress. Objection, your honor. We have made it clear to the court no, that no, my we are client not, we are, is not a tiger. We are not talking about you. We are not talking about you. No, your honor. We are talking about my client. No, we are not talking about your client. No, your honor. No, we are talking about your client. You are, is this your client? All right. So um, finish it. Finish it. The guy is... Um, you wake up in the morning and you don't find Yvonne Coombs and you find somebody with part of the face yellow, part black. How about we making sure that she fixes makeup every night? She sleeps with makeup and wakes up in makeup. No, your honor. The image I saw the first morning of my honeymoon is haunting me. That's what my my lawyer said. No, so it is causing trauma. You, you bought this, you bought this. You didn't do due diligence before buying, and it's how is that anybody's fault? Your Honor, I am a Christian, and I could I could have made her come to sleep over in my house and wake up in the morning so that I I, I see what she looks like. No, you don't. Morning. You didn't have to do that. You could have woken up one morning, your, gone to her house. In at dawn, and your honor, I've done it before. Your honor. Objection, your honor. Yeah, what? Your honor, he said uh, he said that he's a Christian. Your honor, as a Christian man, there's something that you take. You take vows at your wedding, for better or for worse. Your honor, this is the ways he has to embrace. Objection, your honor. your honor. Yes. Your honor, when they say that for better or for worse, it's not this one. Which the, one? Yes. No, this one is not a verse. It's this one. Your honor, this is a dangerous. Okay. The a dangerous. Thank you. Yes, your honor. This is danger or dangerous. Dangerous, not a dangerous. Your Honor, are you a Your Honor or you a Queen Elizabeth? I am Your Honor, but I I know the Queen's language and therefore I must instruct Your Honor. Your I don't believe so. Which Queen? I mean, the Queen. You don't know him. It's a <laughs> hello. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Your name. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm Emmanuel. 
Emmanuel, let's hear you from. Okay. Uh, from Bremen. Emma from Bremen, let's hear you. Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate this guy is parading himself as a Christian and then asking the court to quash the marriage and then maybe uh, give him a, a reward for deceit. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing is, if he says he is a Christian, the Bible says when one gets married, it's for better and for worse. I have a few questions to ask him. Number one, did he marry the girl a day after seeing her by the roadside? No. Two, did he accompany the girl to the family and they introduce him or her to the family? Did the family gathered and then to perform the uh, marriage rites or the kokoko and the others before the wedding day. If all this took place, so wasn't he in any chance saw how the girl was before uh, she sent her to the uh, uh, church room for, for, for the marriage to be a- blessed? A- exactly. I think he doesn't have any case. It's for better. For for worse. Worse. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the lawyer has something to say to you anyway. Your Honor, Look at the way the man is talking. The way he's talking, he's talking like Pastor Mensah Otago. You are not even a Pastor Mensah Otago. Your Honor, the question he asked, he said that, did he marry him the next day? No. Your Honor, he, mar- he courtship the girl for seven months. Courtship, no pregnancy. No anything. And the, uh, the day he, 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 take, he called the girl, baby, I want to go and do introduction to my family and to your family. And they, every, all of them, they went there. They dress up. And she go and put the uh, Isaiah paint on her face. And they go there. It's not Isaiah paint. It's what? Isaiah. Your Honor. Your, um, what your Honor is a paint for you. <laughs> no, go, okay, go on. Finish with your point. Yes. And the last one, he said that Koko Koko. Your Honor, of course, the man did Koko Koko. If he, if he doesn't do Koko, who can open the door for him to enter the house? <laughs> okay. Uh, your Honor. What? So that his point is that since he's done all of that, then it is for better or for worse. No. Oh. Then he didn't do it. Then, then your honor, I'm lying. He didn't do anything. We don't want the for better for worse. Uh, your <laughs> honor, what we also want to say is that, your honor, uh, look at this man over here. You saw this girl in the area. Your honor, you think the area boys, they are bevu. The area boys, all the men in the area, they are bevu. Why hasn't anyone married here yet? You, you come from your area and you now not in far now be far now far now be far now far now be so sorry but nobody will take it that is what the area people are seeing as objection your honor yes your honor this one i shouldn't even say objection what should because be? what the, my colleague is saying is very true that what that you this man you think that the whole world you are sensible man yes the woman is there she's not married you look at her you say beautiful girl she's i want to marry you nobody are you the only one with eyes all the people in the area, they see her. Every day they see her. No, are you not? But they don't marry no, her. You are supposed to be. This is your client you are talking no, about. Yes. Oh, your Honor, we stand for the truth. Yes, We stand honor. for the truth. And the, the, um. the truth is that this man is a bevu man. Yeah. No, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Your Honor, sometimes some of the cases I bring to court, I think about it. I don't care. I don't get it. Your Honor, look at the, the woman. Right now, I don't know what this man, he wants. But he said that he wants a divorce. I thought just no, a minute ago you were just saying that we should charge and then give you money and then... Your Honor, I'm doing my work. Which is what? Defending my colleague. Hey, my client. Is that and how my you colleague. Me? And now you are defending who? My colleague and my client. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you can't, you can't defend your colleague. You can only defend your client. Objection, Your Honor. He can defend me. No. Not in my courtroom. In my courtroom, you defend the clients you you agree outside the courtroom to defend. So, so long as you bring them to court, they are you stick with them to the thick and thin till the case is done, till my judgment comes. All right? Okay, Your Honor. All right. So now um, it brings me to my judgment, my final thoughts. Hello, 